Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about the light reflex. So, light reflex is the response of our pupils when you are shining a torch light in front of the eyes. It has got two components, direct light reflex and consensual light reflex. The direct light reflex is basically the constriction of the pupil in front of which the torch light is being shined and consensual light reflex refers to the constriction of the other eye pupil. Before going into the details of the light reflex, let us go through the some basic concepts about the pupil. So, basically pupil is an aperture which is present in the center of the iris and the size of the pupil determines the amount of light which enters into the eye. Uh, so, the normal size of the pupil varies from 2.5 to 4 mm depending upon the illumination in which the size of the pupil is being checked. Ideally, the size of the pupil should always be checked in the dimmest illumination possible. So, depending upon the size of the pupil, uh, pupil can be meiotic pupil or midriatic pupil. Meiotic pupil uh, is basically a constricted pupil and the size of which is less than 2 mm and midriatic pupils are dilated pupils the size of which is more than 7 mm. Now, the size of the pupil is determined by the action of the muscles of the iris. So, there are two sets of muscle in the iris. One is a circular muscle fiber and the other one is the radial muscle fiber. So, the circular muscle fibers which are also known as the sphincter pupillae muscle, they are responsible for the constriction of the pupil and they are supplied by the parasympathetic pathway. And the dilator pupillae muscle the, which are the radial muscle fibers, they are responsible for the dilation of the pupil and they are supplied by the sympathetic system. Now let us go through the light reflex. So, as we discussed earlier, light reflex is the response of our pupils when a torch light is being shined in front of the eye. The direct reflex is the constriction of the same eye pupil in front of which the eye light has been shined and the consensual reflex is the constriction of the other eye pupil. So, the anatomical pathway of the light reflex starts uh, as follows. So, what happens basically is when you are shining a torch light in front of the eye, the sensations from the retina, they travel via the optic nerve and then they go to the optic chiasma and the optic chiasma, the fibers from the nasal retina, they cross over onto the other side of the uh, optic uh, pathway and while the temporal uh, retinal fibers, they tra continue to travel along the same side. Hence, uh, these fibers then go to the midbrain. In midbrain, there is something known as a pretectal nuclei. From pretectal nuclei, there is another set of nuclei which is known as the edingal westphal nucleus. From this pretectal nuclei, the impulse which has been received uh, will travel to both sided edingal westphal nucleus. So, this bilateral uh, impulse is responsible for the constriction of both sided pupils when we are shining a torch light just in front of the one eye. Okay. So, from this edingal westphal nucleus, the impulse will then go to the ciliary ganglion via the oculomotor nerve and then by then from the ciliary ganglion there will be a relay of the um, fibers and from this the post ganglionic motor fibers will leave the ciliary ganglion and they will pass via the short ciliary nerves and they will go and innervate the sphincter pupillary muscle and this will result in the constriction of the pupil. So, uh, what happens when there are some lesions in the light reflex pathway? So, we will be discussing three scenarios. Uh, one is what if the damage is at the level of the optic nerve. Second one is the what if there is a damage at the level of optic chiasma. And third one will be the damage at the level of the oculomotor nerve. So, let us go uh, to the first scenario. Here we can see in the diagram that uh, the, let us uh, discuss the first scenario when there is damage to the uh, optic now of the left hand side. So, what happens basically is if left sided optic nerve is damaged and if you are shining a torch light in front of the left eye, the impulses are not travelling by the optic nerve only and they would not reach the midbrain. Hence, there would not be any uh, constriction of the pupil. So, when there is a damage to the optic nerve on the same side, there will not be any light reflex present. So, there will not be any direct reflex or there will not be any consensual reflex also. So, now let us go to the second scenario uh, where there is uh, damage at the level of the optic chiasma. So, optic chiasma as we know as we discussed earlier that the nasal fibers will cross uh, onto the other side at the level of optic chiasma, but the temporal fibers will continue to travel along the same path. 
So when there is a damage at the level of optic chiasma, the nasal fibers will be affected, but the temporal fibers will be intact and the impulses from the eye will continue to flow through the temporal fibers will reach the midbrain and uh, will show the response. Hence, at the level of optic chiasma, if the damage is present, the light reflex will be present. That is, direct reflex will be present in the same eye and there will also be a consensual reflex in the other eye. Now, let us discuss a scenario where there is damage to the oculomotor now. So, if there is damage to at the level of say left sided oculomotor now. So, basically what will happen is when you are shining a torch light in front of the left eye, the impulse will travel via the optic nerve, will reach the midbrain, will go to the pretectal nucleus. As we know that from uh, one sided pretectal nucleus, the impulse will travel to both sided edingal westphal nucleus. Hence, uh, but here there is a damage to the left sided oculomotor nerve. So, the impulse will not travel through the left sided uh, oculomotor nerve and will not reach the left sided pupil, but the right sided oculomotor nerve is intact. Hence, for the impulse from the right sided Edinger Westphal nucleus will travel via right oculomotor nerve via and then via short ciliary nerve and will lead to constriction of the other side pupil. Hence, we can conclude that if there is a lesion at the level of say left sided oculomotor nerve, the direct reflex in the left eye will be absent, but the consensual light reflex on the other side will be present. So, that is it for the topic. I hope this topic was helpful to you people.